Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Murphy. It's time for reading. Today, we're going to go back and look at our story, Me, Jane, one last time. Remember, this story is a biography. It tells the true story of the life of Jane Goodall and her desire to move to Africa to study animals. Part of what makes this story so special is the detailed illustrations. The illustrator did a really nice job adding details to the pictures to help bring meaning and life to our text. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. This page says she cherished Jubilee and took him everywhere she went, and Jane loved to be outside. Then, when I look at the illustration, I can see her holding Jubilee and bringing him with her. That shows me she took him everywhere she went. I also see that they're running around outside. That matches the text where it says Jane loved to be outside. Now, let's take a look at this page. The words say, Jane learned all she could about the animals and plants she studied in her backyard and read about in books. Hmm, what in the picture matches the text? I agree, I see Jane drawing pictures in a book. There's also lots of drawings of plants and animals. What animals and plants does it look like she's studying? I see fish, bugs, foxes, ducks, clovers, mushrooms, and even flowers. Let's look at one final page. This page says, Jane dreamed of a life in Africa too. How does the picture match the text? Well, I see Jane sitting in a tree, and I see her dreaming about Africa. Look, there's the sun, the giraffes, and elephants. How does the picture show that she's dreaming and not actually there? Well, if you look at that tree, that's the tree that was outside of her house. So she's still at her house, but the picture is showing what she's imagining, the giraffes and elephants, that is. Now that we've looked at some of the illustrations from the story, it's your turn. Go back and see if you can draw your own picture to help tell our biography.